I like art museums. Well, they're kind of boring. And I'm not an artist or anything. But I have nothing against them. A lot of paintings are pretty cool. And it's way better than being in math class. See, we were only there on a school field trip. And my class is pretty huge. I didn't even have any friends in this class. So I hung back awkwardly while quiet chatter ran through the crowd. I tried to follow along with my teacher's lecture about one of the paintings as much as I could, but I figured if I sneaked away somewhere, she wouldn't even notice in the sea of kids. Truth be told, all this walking and listening to her monotonous drawl was making me sleepy. I slowly took a step back, hoping to goodness I wouldn't hear a demanding, where are you off to? Success. I slinked away undetected. I had spotted a supply room at the end of one of the corridors, so I made my way there. Heck, I just wanted a little power nap. 20 minutes or so. Field trips just have a way of exhausting you sometimes. The supply room looked safe enough. Even if some staff member did come in, I just hoped they'd take pity on a tired middle schooler and not bother me. Wishful thinking, but still. I was about to open the door when a big sign next to it caught my eye. The museum closes at 6 p.m. sharp. Guests must be out by 6 p.m. Staff must be out by 7 p.m. This is a major requirement. Failure to comply will have consequences. Now that I think of it, one of these signs was plastered in every single hallway and corridor we passed. In fact, not even just one. They had multiple ones at the ends of hallways, one in the middle, one at the other end, etc. Geez, I thought. Do the visitors here typically not get the message or something? How many of these do you need? The times of 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. were in bold red ink, double underlined too. Of utmost importance, I thought. We get it. There was also a phone number underneath, with the caption, if you are ever trapped inside the building after 7 p.m., please call the manager at this number. Please call. You must call immediately. Hmm. A bit dramatic, but seemed reasonable enough. I slipped into the supply room and positioned myself on a stool. I leaned against a wall, and I was out in a few minutes. I woke up to darkness. Crap. What time was it? I rubbed my eyes groggily. The supply room looked the same. I presumed no staff member had come in at all, and my nap was undisturbed. But what time was it? I glanced at my phone and did a double take. Crap. 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 9.43 PM? Shit. How long was I asleep? How did I, never mind. Shit. No wonder it was dark. The museum was long closed, and everyone was gone. Ugh. Great. And how was I supposed to get home? It's not like the school bus was going to be waiting outside for me. And. My family was probably freaked out. I needed to text them. I picked up my phone again. No cell service. Of course not, I was inside a supply room in some far corner of the building. I creaked the door open and peered out. The hallways looked dim and deserted. Not a single light was on. My phone didn't have a lot of charge left, or I'd have used the flashlight. I thought I could hear water dripping somewhere. It sounded positively unsettling, the only bit of noise breaking the silence. It was echoing a little around the empty, pitch dark corridors too, making it even more unsettling. Maybe someone left a bathroom tap dripping? I stepped out of the room into the eerie corridor, lined with paintings of different mediums and subjects. The museum didn't feel this long and confusing earlier. Suddenly, it felt like I was in a labyrinth, a maze of creepy dark walls of paintings and sculptures, and I had no idea which way to go. I took a deep breath and started walking. I think I remember where the main entrance was. Or maybe I could climb out one of the windows? Either way, I needed that cell service. I didn't want my parents to call the police and start a hole. I whipped around. Were those footsteps? They were getting closer, but the intervals between them were getting longer. I wasn't sure whether to run or see what it was. I mean, what would I be running from? It was probably some staff member who was working late or something. Hello? I called. Silence. Then a single tap, and a voice responded. Hello? Something was off about it. 
It was somewhat muffled and quiet. I assumed the person was in some far off corridor or something. I took a few steps closer and called out again. Hello? Hey, I'm sorry, but I got locked inside the museum after hours. I'm not, can you show me the way out? Cold silence, except for the eerie water drops. Then it came again, closer. Much closer. Hello? I took off in the other direction. That voice could not have belonged to a human. Did I believe in the paranormal? No, not really. At least not until that point. I can't describe the voice. It was hoarse and sounded like the speaker's throat had been ripped out or something. As if their voice boxes were torn into pieces. I tried not to think about it as I passed another deserted, dark hallway. What was that? What was that just now? There was something back there. Not a person. Not human shaped. It didn't seem to have a shape. Just a looming, shapeless form of dread. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just wanted to get out of there. Hello? Shit. The horrible voice floated out of the corridor, looming up in front of me. But that wasn't possible. What? How would it get there before me? And why did it sound just slightly different? I had established earlier that it didn't sound human. But this sounded like a different non-human voice. I stood there for a few seconds, isolated and exposed in the darkness. The footsteps were getting closer, and I realized I had no idea where I was going. I didn't know where the entrance was. I couldn't even see any windows. Hello? Two sets of taps. Two pairs of footsteps. Closer. They were coming straight for me. I turned around and ran back towards the supply room. The only safe place I could think of. As I reached it again, the big sign next to it caught my eye. Call the manager if you are inside the museum after 7 p.m. The thing, or things, was most definitely sprinting towards me. I snapped a photo of the phone number on the sign, slipped back inside the room, and slammed the door shut. They didn't do anything to me after 7 p.m. while I was in the room, right? Maybe they couldn't open doors. Hello? Oh God! that fucking voice. It was right outside the door. I climbed a bunch of cardboard boxes and tried to get closer to the ceiling. Please, just one bar of cell service. Please. Hello? 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 I wanted to scream. There were who knows how many of these things clamoring at the supply room door, and I wasn't sure it would hold. I raised the phone higher. Two bars. Two whole bars had popped up. I dialed the number at top speed, desperately hoping someone would pick it up. Hello? Hello? Hello, is this the museum manager? The art museum, yes, that's me. Who is this? Is this for one of those school project interviews? No, no. Look sir, I'm inside your museum and... What? I'm in the museum right now. Dead silence except for the scratching on the supply room door. Kid, are you saying you're inside the art museum right now? Yes, yes, I'm. Oh my God. Kid, listen to me. You need to get inside one of the rooms with doors. The storage room or. I'm inside the supply room. Sir, I don't know what to. Supply room? That's great. Kid, do not leave the room. Do not open the door. They can't open doors. Hello? The godforsaken call rang out once more, and I swear I saw something glowing beneath the door. I think one of the things was trying to look underneath. With its eyes, or eyes, or whatever the fuck it had. I'm not. I'm, sir, what are they? What do I do? Listen kid. I don't know what they are, exactly. The previous manager warned me about it. They live inside the paintings. They come out when it's dark. Is, what do they want? My voice was breaking. They will take you back with them, inside the paintings. What? Kid, listen. Lock the door and stay there until the morning. It's the only way you will survive this. I understand. Hello? Hello? Sir, sir, what happens if they take me? Into the paintings? Pause. 
you will become one too. I shut my eyes, processing. Hello. 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 Does this imply? They're people. Either unfortunate visitors like yourself or unfortunate staff members. I shut my eyes again and didn't respond. What what made them like this? What is it? I don't know for sure, kid. The previous manager didn't either. I don't even know how it started. Hello. I took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. The thanks for talking to me. Don't open the door until the morning, no matter how bad the scratching gets. They're still at the door, clamoring. The awful hellos have become blood-curdling shrieks now. They really want a new member, huh? I'm still on the cardboard boxes, as far away from the door as possible. I'm probably not getting any sleep tonight. But I'll be fine as long as I don't open the door.